Breakfast Show. Of course, it is Expresso right here on S3. And it's so good to be with you, my friend. We have been doing so much from music to food. I've been giving you this list all morning. But this morning, we're also getting into art. Now, South Africans can get ready to experience art the way that it was actually meant to be experienced, which is an outside public spaces, accessible to absolutely everyone. It's been such a beautiful thing to see what it is in terms of the work that APSA is doing with all of these wall visual, or rather wall mural visual artists who are genuinely making spaces in South Africa just a little bit beautiful in order for us to just enjoy them and take them in and allow our environment to truly be a sight to see. So this morning, one of the artists who actually has gone on to do something incredible with APSA and who has an actual piece himself, I am talking about none other than Yaku van Skalkvik, everybody! Yaku, congratulations for winning this beautiful prize. I am so happy for you. And I want to ask you, what did it feel like when Absa said, you, you, you incredible artist, come and work with us? <laughs> thank you, Zanelli. It's so lovely to be here with you. Ah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, well, great to Absa. Thank you so much again for this mm -hmm. opportunity. Um, they have been involved with my career from a many years ago already, more than a decade. Love yeah, yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm very privileged to have been on this journey with Absa and to collaborate once again with them. Yes. yes, and of course you've got your own installation. Please tell us about it. When did you start working on it? Let us in on the details. Yes, yeah, so th this is an artwork. It's a painting that mm -hmm. I created. Um, it is quite big. It's about 152 by 183 centimeters. Wow. So um, yes, I, I usually say it took me about two months to create this. But oh. two months and 20 years of experience. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> yes. and what went into it, do you think, and what inspired it? Yeah, so, um, I mean, as an artist, I'm a visual storyteller, which I yes. think works so well with this campaign, Your Story Matters. And um, this artwork is a landscape, but a bit of an abstract landscape. Yeah. So I'm mostly inspired by forests lately and um, the symbolism of forest. Mm. Think, fairy, think fairy tale. I mean, the protagonist goes into the forest and get tested and has yeah. to overcome some kind of um, nemesis obstacle. or yeah. obstacle, if you think, because this, the title of this artwork is also Nemesis, oh, wow. which means arch enemy. Yes. So that, that will bring us to my story later. But yes, so it's, it's about this fairy tale like uh, fantasy uh, landscape that I created. I love that. And like you said, living the brand, your story matters, <laughs> Yaku. Tell us a little bit about your story and how it just plays into what is happening in your life right now. Yes, so I mean, that's, that, that was a great thing that Absa asked me to tell my personal story. Mm. Um, I mean, as artists, we constantly tell stories. I yeah. think that is what we do. We, we communicate to the viewer or to the world out there. So, I mean, to my personal story, like I said, the artwork is called Nemesis, mm. and that is one's arch enemy or something that one struggles with in life. Mm. So, um, I mean, I, I think many artists can relate to that. Being a young kid, I was quite awkward and peculiar <laughs> artistic. <laughs> yes. um, I grew up in a, in a small religious community in Benoni. Okay. So there were many things that kind of counted against me in a way, sure. uh, you know, being bullied. And I think that's a big thing, you know, many artists get bullied as children yeah. so that that was my story as well and I think art became that refuge for me oh, wow. in a way if we talk about fairy tales it became my superpower I love that <laughs> so for, for me that it became my refuge but yes. also in the end it became my career so from being a hobby or something that I dappled in as, as uh, you know a child um, eventually it became a career with people seeing the potential like mm. Absa and I've had some amazing mentors in my Korea, um, recalling Marie Briet, she was she early found my my talent and mm. uh, she invested in me. So I was very lucky to have people that invested in me and discovered me, as one would say. I love that. I mean, why would they not, Yaku? You're very talented <laughs> and you. super Yaku to the rescue, saving the world one art piece at a time. Yes, I love it. <laughs> now talk to me about this, Yaku, because you know, like you say, a lot of young artists get bullied sometimes, and it happens. Yeah. You know, especially like if you're on the creative side. I can even yeah. speak. To that as yeah. well um, but you know speak to me about you know if there is a young person out there who's looking at you and going oh actually what Yaku just described that's exactly me what yeah. do you say to them just to encourage them a little bit yeah I mean like my artwork which artwork would suggest I mean it's this kind of monster that comes at you in the in the middle of this landscape mm. um, it it is uh, I think th that's the thing we we are rejected most of the time in society for v various reasons yeah. and it is hard but to be other or to be 
be different. Um, but I think the, the big thing is um, one should just use whatever is the thing that is your obstacle, use that to, to, to get success. Because sure. that is what I did. I worked on the things that made me different mm. or that, and I portrayed that in my artwork. So I think that is the thing. That is actually your power. I the fact that. that you are different yes. is your power. Oh. So one should use those things. That's incredible, <laughs> Yaku. Yeah. And I want to go into your career as well for those young people that are watching right now. In terms of you know the things that you've kind of picked up along the way and that have kind of made you even a better artist what would you say they are maybe obstacles that helped you to kind of you know flex a certain muscle or even just something that you've learned along the way some of your best lessons well I mean art is a journey I mean yeah. just starting off with that it, it is something that I mean I'm still learning I would never say I'm, I'm now completed so yeah. it's a journey it's a it's a process and I think like any artwork it becomes a metaphor for your life mm. you know and Mm -hmm. exhibitions so for me it's all about juxtapositioning so creating images you know putting them together and creating a story yeah so that is what I want to do and that's what I'm doing and I'm Yay. so privileged to do that and it's actually such a responsibility like I think with APSA as well we we share our stories and through that we learn mm. you know we learn from each other and I think in a country like South Africa that is so important where we have so many different cultures and people and and such a big institution like APSA allows us and gives us now this opportunity to share all of our stories as South yeah. Africans. So, so um, through the arts, I'm very happy that, that this is my profession and yeah. that I have this opportunity. Oh man, and you deserve it, Yaku. I also need to ask you, <laughs> especially just touching on, you know, the work that APS is doing, have you seen any of the other murals? I have seen some of them and that's one other thing that's, that's so great is that you meet these amazing other artists yeah. and curators and all kinds of people in life and um, I have said I have to say, the artworks are really looking great on Aww. the walls all over the country. Yay. So I've seen a few walls, um, but I mean, this is in the ha in happening as we speak. They mm. are getting transcribed onto walls from here to Cape Town. Lovely. So people will be seeing them everywhere. Beautiful. So speaking of seeing them, yeah. how long are they up for and when and where rather can we see them? So they are in suburban and uh, peri-urban um, spaces and townships all over the yes. country from here to Cape Town and it's I think 156 murals. Indeed, that is and, the number. Um, we are eight artists and each artist got 18 walls or 19 sure. walls, something like that. My maths is not it's that okay. strong. It's point. okay, it's not maths. But, we are here in uh, somewhere. Acts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Beautiful. Well, Yaku, we are so happy for you. Congratulations and thank you for being part of the people that young people can look up to and say, I want to be like him one day. Our thank modern you. day Picasso, everybody. <laughs> thank His you, name Daniel. is Yaku and he is doing great work with APSA. And you heard that you can go and check out these murals all throughout the country and it is something that will be a sight for those eyes of yours my lovely to let you know it is up until the 30th of june in both urban and peri-urban townships across south africa and to learn a little bit more and just get to know about some of the stories you know what i mean you can visit latelia.apsa.africa go out there and explore the streets and enjoy the art because it is all out there just for you and a big shout out to apsa and all of the artists that are allowing Africa to have art that is growing in the way that it should be. There are stories of creators and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. Absa.